Hey everybody, Mo here, and today I'm bringing you guys a YouTube video gameplay on Gwyn Mordekaiser Infinite Combo Deck. So, uh, this deck is, originally was a take on Red Gwyn, where I was like, oh, I can play Mordekaiser, Gwyn, Mordekaiser will level really quickly with Hallowed units and big Hallowed attackers, plus you play a lot of Ephemeral attackers, Ephemeral units, so... Uh, it'd be really good with that, and then Mordekaiser's ability of being able to play kill two allies would be really good with Fallen Reckoner, and really good with the other, um, uh, like, Amalgamation, and just other good Hallowed units in general, just to get free Hallowed stacks, which is really solid. So, with all of that combined, I was like, oh, this is a pretty good idea. And then it was pointed out to me that this deck actually has an infinite combo in it, that's not clickbait, and I pull it off multiple times, as you'll see in the video here, where if you get Crimson Banquet Hall out, it says allies cost one less, uh, when you play an ally, deal two damage to it. So with that, you get to play Mordekaiser on turn six, and he becomes a five six with Challenger. You know, okay, six mana five six Challenger is pretty okay. But what it does, and what's broken, is it will instantly kill your Shackled Gas and make it cost zero mana. So your Shack Shackled Gas, say last breath. Next time you revive an ally, create a copy of me in hand. Now with Mordekaiser in play, Crimson Hall's damage to your unit counts as you slaying your own unit. So Mordekaiser reads, when you slay another ally, revive it. Banquet Hall is dealing to damage, so your Banquet Hall is killing it. Therefore, you are killing it, so you are slaying the unit. So you're slaying the ghast, so you revive it. And when it revives, it automatically tr tr triggers its own last breath. So you get another one to your hand, and you basically create infinite shackle ghast. So what you can do with this is you can instantly level up your Mordekaiser because you play them 15 times or however many times to level your Mordekaiser. You attack with Mordekaiser. You just challenge something very small because you need uh, Mordekaiser to live. And then you just continue to play Shackle Gas and then you uh, drain your opponent for one every single time you play one. And that's it. You just get to go infinite on it. And like I said, we've done that multiple times against our opponent. Uh, you'll see that happen multiple times in today's video. It's a very fun deck. Outside of that infinite combo, you really can just play this as like a Might Gwyn Red deck, Red Gwyn deck, so kind of like the Riven deck. So you play this with Mordekaiser. I think Amalgamation of Vile Rights is really broken. I'm going to go over each card individually really quick, like um, not nearly as long as yesterday's video because this archetype isn't especially brand new or um, crazy or anything. So I'm just going to go over the tech cards and kind of tell you why they're in here. But before I do all that, I wanted to really thank you guys for all of the uh, love you've been showing me coming back to LOR. I greatly appreciate it. I've uh, gotten a lot of uh, a lot of people resubscribed that originally unsubscribed to me once they saw I was back to making LOR content. So I greatly appreciate it. If you guys enjoy these decks and the deck guides, my meta Mondays are coming back on Mondays. My sweaty Thursdays are coming back on Thursdays, which are going to be basically what decks to play to climb for the weekend, what decks to play for tournaments, stuff like that. Um you know, make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss any of that stuff. And go join the Discord because I'm always talking about LOR stuff over there. Talking about the meta, the new cards, deck lists. All, I'm always trying to have conversations. I love card games. I love talking about card games. So if you want to chat with me or anyone else that loves card games as much as you do, make sure to join that, that Discord. Both the link to my Twitch and my Discord is going to be in the description below. And again, make sure you subscribe because it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So very quickly going over the deck this is just a red gwyn deck meaning you're going to eventually just get a lot of hallowed stacks attack with the gwyn or attack with something really big fight it to give it overwhelm and win the game with that you have to actually get to that point so how to do that is with things like shackled gas can be a chump blocker but amalgamation of vile rates i'm pretty sure this card is actually like really 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 strong one of the strongest cards in the set um to play me kill an ally so that's not bad because you can usually have an ephemeral ally from here you can use the um husk you get off of hate spike you can use a really like bad one drop here this bad one drop here if you want to you have a lot of options for your amalgamation and it will essentially gain you four life but then also block and kill two things which is wrong if you ever get to kill it with mordekaiser that's really good the best thing you can do is go amalgamation of vile rights block something to trigger the the deathless effect from it get the two hp and then you can go Mordekaiser it now that after it's deathless with only one HP, you get the heal again, but then you resummon it as a brand new amalgamation, which means it'll have deathless again. You can get four total units out of this card and gain um, eight HP, which is really insane. So this card is, is really, really good. Then you have Fallen Reckoner. Again, this card has kind of helped to, to help you push through a lot of little blockers your opponent might have with Fallen Reckoner. But then also, this is a really solid card with Mordekaiser. If you go Gwyn on four... Uh, Fallen Reckoner on 5, something else on 6, like an Eternal Dancers or whatever. Maybe you play some spells on 6 to stabilize. And then turn 7, you can just go Mordekaiser, your Fallen Reckoner. Maybe you go Fallen Reckoner on 5, Fallen Reckoner on 6. Boom. Mordekaiser, both Fallen Reckoners on turn 7. Now your opponent has 4 units that can't block. The odds of them having way more units than that is going to be low anyways. 
So you can really do that. And so not only will you kill the Fallen Reckoner, revive it to make something not block, you'll get an extra Risen Reckoner out of your hand. So you'll get this in your hand because this, uh, you know, your Fallen Reckoner died. So if your opponent somehow lives, then the next turn you just go, okay, now I'm going to play two Risen Reckoners. You can't block, and I'm going to again have really, really, really big um, Overwhelm units, thanks to our um, Hallowed keyword. I'll tell you that your keywords are very standard. Um, I just I took out the Quietuses. You could probably put Quietus back in. I, I built this list on day one where I had to be really greedy to beat all the really greedy um elder dragon decks if elder dragon frailyord is still as prevalent as it was um on day one which i'm sure it won't be then you want to keep this in but if elder dragon isn't nearly as big and you start playing against decks that actually have interaction or have aggressive stuff you can easily take out you know a crimson banquet hall take out a shackled ghast and then just put in two quietus there you go you don't need three banquet halls and three shackled ghast unless you're trying to consistently needing to win with the infinite combo on turn six which isn't happening very often except for the the matchup against your um like really greedy decks or some really fast decks but having your really early units and acquires will help you with the really fast deck so that's gonna be for the intro that's really it um outside of that the play patterns is just like any other red gwyn deck except the random um infinite combos so yeah very solid the deck list will be down in the description below as a link so all of you mobile um Users can love me and click on that and it'll still take you to the deck codes. So you can copy it. I know a lot of people can't copy deck codes if they're not in links on YouTube mobile. So I got you. Uh, and also let me know if you guys enjoyed the intro to the Elder Dragon deck yesterday, the Elder Dragon video. Uh, I could put that a lot more. Stuff like that takes me a little bit of time to do. But um, the intro to that video and the intro to this video, if you guys really enjoyed it, let me know and then I'll keep trying to do it. Or I'll have my um, editor, Eric, I think I'm going to ask him to to help me out again and i'll see if he can do it uh, but let me know if you enjoy it, if you think they're cool uh yeah so that's gonna be it for the intro i hope you guys enjoy the games that i was able to play for you on day one and again subscribe because i appreciate you guys so much and i really appreciate the support of me coming back you guys are amazing uh best community in in the entire world but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the games why are you playing antigen on day one okay so we can keep this and we can win turn six. Nice. I just took out my quietus. What is this? Okay. I just took out my quietus. Right, let's do this. That looks good. And we can just kill the Annie next turn. Have a blocker. Ideally, we get another two mana guy or cheap dude. Hey, yo, we have it. We have it. All right, so we have the turn six. That's okay. Let's go ahead and kill off the Annie. I hope you don't have a second one. Hmm. That's pretty good. Okay, let's just play this so they can't attack me with the Corsair. Save ourselves one HP at least. Oh, hello. And we're going to play Gwen, start to gain some of that life back. Okay. When you start to gain some of the life back, no stuns. And we need to not die next turn. We need to not die on turn five. Okay, cool. Okay. We're totally fine here. Totally fine here. Okay. Um, okay. This is fine. Something 
All right, we have to kill the 3-2. I think the 3-2 is probably the only way we die. I think the 3-2 is the only way we die. Like, we do this, we do this. And they have two cards in hand, and we probably aren't dying off of two cards. Like, this is a fervor, right? And they have to do five damage on two cards, and we just have to, like, hope they can't do that. We could always just, like, attack with Gwyn. If it starts to look too scary. It basically has to be, like, Demolitionist plus Second Fervor. If you don't have Second Fervor, I think we're fine. Okay. Okay. And so now we're infinite. Oh, wait. I can just hate Spike. Oh, no. I can't hate Spike. I don't have mana. Okay, cool. We win. Oh, they didn't stun the Mordekaiser. They don't know. They don't know. There is no other way. Nice. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> awesome. You are now in my... Oh, another really fun deck to play against. All we've hit are these cringy aggro players. This is okay, though. We'll just combo off on six again. Wait, why did my opponent get a attack token on one? That's cheating. It's fine. I want to be able to attack on six anyway. Or attack on evens anyways. Because you can play this on three, attack with it, and win on four. And then play this on five, and attack and win the game on six. Surely they play the 2-1 predict. Oh, that's pretty lame. All right, well. We can play this and then block the snappy draw. Miss. Easy. Play this so we can kill the snap draw swarm. Oh, okay, cool. They don't have snap draw. They missed on one, no snap draw on two. That's kind of nuts. This is kind of nuts. Now, all we need is a mortar kaiser, and we're kind of gaming. Oh, yeah. Okay. I will kill that, yes. Okay, so they might have hit a pike, but they've only lurked once, so pike's not scary. It's not a scary boy. Boop. Okay, Gwynefer. Do work for me. Yeah, I'm going to play this just in the case that we top deck a Mordekaiser on six. Ooh, what is this? Deal one rally? Ain't no way. <laughs> okay. Like, surely it's a pike, right? But your pike is too power. Your pike is a little baby boy. Little baby boy pike. That's what they call him. Why would you not just block the Gwyn? Cool. Oh, it really was deal one rally. Okay. 
how you do this. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Cause we'll probably win with like might or some shit. What Kaiser? Oh, second Gwen. Cool. That is Pog. This. Let's do that. Um. Uh, okay. Okay, and end. I don't want to play this now because I don't want to damage my Gwent. Does damaging my Gwent ever matter? It doesn't, right? Like, 2 HP Gwen. Bell dies to Pike. Like, fuck, let's just do it. And then, like, if we draw... If, if we draw the Mordekaiser, we win. I have to have double pike. Apparently, they do not have double pike, so we win the game. Actually, we don't win quite yet, because we do have to attack with the Mordekaiser. Wait, Mordekaiser doesn't have to be in play, does he? For his ability? <gasps> Why do you play that card? Why are you playing that card? What? Like, why are you actually playing that card, sir? What the hell? And I'm gonna get Rek'Side here for 10. Oh god. I just can't play a blocker? Please just don't kill me. Okay, not dead. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, why are they playing that card, though, for real? Can someone explain to me? Okay, so 13. 3 is 16. And we have exact lethal. We have exact lethal. <laughs> oh, now we have like way over lethal. I mean, they don't just have, like, Pike. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Can't be stopped. 2-0. 2 Alright. Oh! After my son is born. He's on my fast data. Gonna pop up. It's too slow to even watch. Gotcha. Well, congrats, man. Congrats on your kid being born. Okay, I would like a Quietus. We took out our Quietuses. We have Soul Harvest for a Zed. A double Soul Harvest. That's okay. Dark Chariot. Grow. Okay. Let's just do this. Let's watch more content soon. Hell yeah, man. It's a zero mana card on turn nine. It's a huge difference. I mean, not really. <laughs> And still it does absolutely nothing in your hand until turn nine. Again, the issues with the card are gonna be like why it's good. How consistent it's good. Oh, 
Oh, all we're missing is the landmark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What a strange, wonderful world. When? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dang, we did not get the landmark. That's okay, though. Dark Chariot. Here, have Poopy Blocker. I think we're gonna... Um... That's pretty good! That's fine. We have our 5-drop, which can kind of get us there. Yeah, say, so surely you don't just let me block your... your Gwen. Oh. Feels so bad. There's not much we can really do about that. Okay, so... And let's kill the ghoul. Oh no, we have to kill the. Gwen's not gonna come back quite yet. It'll gain us some HP. This'll gain us some HP. Let's do a little bit more of this. Oh, this is a eight spike. Oh, I mean, the good news is... Man, I wish I had my own hate spike. The good news is they only have two cards in their hand. They have to have a way to make an ephemeral. If they don't have a way to make an ephemeral, we're okay. Okay, that's still fine. We're still alive at one. We need to not have a way to make an ephemeral. Okay, we have an answer to that one. <laughs> we have an answer to that ephemeral guy. Oh, and I feel like it's another hate spike. That's okay. We're still not dead, though. Because you can hate spike the 5 3, and then we're just going to block the Gwyn. We're gonna gain two life. So we're gonna be at three. Oh yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling, guys. Stabilization at its finest. Because Gwen still has zero hallowed stacks, so we can still just block the Gwen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is good. Good stuff. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. That's fine, we still kill your Gwyn. Your Gwynifer is still dead. And now we're gonna gain some more life with our Mordekaiser guy. Alright, Mordekaiser guy, gain us some life, bucko. Ooh. We'll just simply pull the uh, elusive guy. I think we pull this. Yeah, let's just do this. Do this. Do this. We'll pull everything here. Oh, oops. I have a hallow stack. I missed out on one damage, but surely that's fine. And then we have Death's Grasp if they drew like a Z or like a card that matters. Also, I definitely just missed lethal. Sorry, I'm not paying attention too much. <laughs> I definitely just missed lethal, but I'm trying to put on a show for you. I want you guys to see as much of this deck as you can. You know? I'm just trying to show you 
all of the deck. Surely you guys understand. Right? Surely you guys understand, right? I just want you guys to see as many turns of this deck as possible. Uh Okay. All right, we can do this. We can do this, it's fine. And it'll just gain more life with the uh second Mordekaiser here. Mordekaiser will gain us two more life. Yep. We just do this. And we gain even more life. Woohoo! We did it! We did it! Yep, two sharks. Oh, three sharks! What in the hell? Where'd all them sharks come from? Where'd all them sharks come from? Cool. Let's go, Mordekaiser deck! We didn't get the combo off, but this just kind of shows you how... You can kind of just kill people with things. You kind of just kill people with things sometimes. And also it shows you how just broken this amalgamation card is. Like, I was telling people this is definitely one of the best cards in the set. Like, it's just, it's nice pressure. It gains you so much life. It activates some of other cards in your deck. Like, it is so good. This deck is so sick. Oh, look, we already had half the combo again. This is really just how you beat the Elder Dragon. The, like, really late game decks. Is you just do this and you just literally just mulligan for this use hard mulligan for the combo and then you kill them on turn six and they just simply cannot do anything about it like they're not going to apply pressure they're going to play at least one little shitter unit that you can challenge with mordekaiser because one of their ramp spells is ramp make a tutu and then you just go like okay well pull your tutu with my mordekaiser and then you just shackles gassed and it's free Yeah, you just play Omen Dog and I kill you because you're not going to be playing Landmark Removal and you're not going to be able to remove this big-ass unit. And we're not getting beat down next turn, so we're totally fine. Yep, and we'll just pass one more time, make them think like, oh, we're playing some big brain passing game. Yep, and then now we just win. Because we're just going to play this card. And then we pass. And we play this card. Yep, and then we win. And it really is just that easy. And I played three cards and I won the game on turn six. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> my opponent is just confused. <laughs> it's just like that's just how you do it this is how you beat the greedy decks you just play these infinite combos or you play these aggro or combo based decks that kill them before they start doing whatever with their he shows it's that easy